Hi folks, today I will show you how to flash your smartphone with a custom ROM. Keep in mind that you need a custom recovery already flashed on your phone to follow my tutorial. The first step is to connect your SD card with your computer. I suggest you to delete everything else on your card, but I think it's not a requirement. So um, just drag and drop your downloaded custom ROM on the SD card. That's um, for example the Viper ROM. That is the ROM I want to flash on my phone. Next step is drop out your SD card and connect it to your phone again. Good. To start now in the boot menu, we'll press the volume down button at the same time with the power on button. I'm now pressing it, waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's started. Now we want the menu recovery to start in the recovery mode. We navigate with the volume down and volume up button. And to enter we use the power button. Okay, so I choose recovery and now it's rebooting the recovery modus. Um, first of all, we want to wipe all data. We say yes, delete all user data. You see, I use a clockware to recovery, but you can use others too. It's simple, it's the same procedure in every recovery mode. So now we will install our ROM. So we choose install zip from SD card. Now we see our Viper ROM. We first chosen and copied on our SD card. So I press power again to choose it. Yes, I want to install it. So now it's installing. And you got now a touch interface and we will go through all points rapidly because it's not interesting for you to see this. You can do it on your own. Okay. We agree. Yes, yes, yes. It detected its HTC sensation. That's correct. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. So, now it's installing our custom ROM. And you see, it's relatively fast. You see, it's very fast installing. We just need now, I think, so two or three minutes. Okay. Now it says, thank you, we are finished. Okay. Want to reboot? Yes. Okay. So, folks, now it's getting a little bit weird because it's booting and it's looking good. But to say the truth, um, we have to fix a really huge bug. You see, it seems like booting, but now we have a boot loop. So it does nothing now. And how to fix this boot loop, I will show you in the next tutorial. So just click below my video the link to see how to fix this problem. With my tutorial, it's very easy and you can do it very fast. So goodbye and thank you for watching.